The head of Wayak National Office, Wendy Adilamte, explained an instructional guide was sent to teachers four days before the paper, and that was what was referred by African Education Watch as the leaked paper. On the 16th August, we forwarded these documents to the heads of schools, and they are supposed to be given to the teachers who handle foods and nutrition. And it simply contains guidelines for the teachers to go by when they are conducting the test on Friday. And was already in the public domain. Hence, uh, we are surprised that somebody picks it up and refers to it as leaked, a leaked document on the 19th, I guess, 2021. According to Mrs. Adi Lamte, such instances does not only affect the psyche of the candidate, but also the credibility of the Ghanaian certificate on the international stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the first time we have had such misleading separation from Edwidge. Why we welcome feedback, which we believe helps us to take corrective actions to improve reckless circulations like this creates needless pressure on WIC, on the candidates, on the parents, and on our various stakeholders. Local and international body that use our results for the admission of Ghanaians into tertiary institutions may doubt the credibility of our certificates, making the Ghanaian child the ultimate loser. Head of Legal at WAEC, Reverend Victor Brew, cautioned Africa Education Watch and others against spreading what he calls false information or they will be taking on. So when we say that we take the matter further, it means a number of things. And the whole idea is to ensure that we are collaborating. And the word collaborate means we are partners. I think the stance that we should all take should not be to say one breath we are collaborating. And then another breath, our actions appear to be as though we are going fishing for some thing untold. For Join News, I am Hannah Odame.